Hey, what's up, Rattlers? So, you know, one of the cool things about being in the reptile world is seeing all the really cool, new, innovative products that come out from companies big and small. And in this video, I'm going to show off and review some of the coolest, innovative, and brand new designs that have come out recently in the reptile world. I'm Dave Kaufman, and I am obsessed with reptiles. So come with me and join my reptile adventures. At Zilla, we are dedicated to the innovation of caging, lighting, and equipment solutions that provide proper husbandry for your pet's long and happy life. To see our entire catalog, visit ZillaRules.com. All right, so number one is this guy right here. This is from Easy Hatch, and it's an Easy Hatch egg tray, but it's a little different than some of the other egg trays that are found on the market. But look at these grooves right here. They're actually egg-shaped, and they're big enough to support ball python eggs and large colubrid eggs. I wouldn't really use this for smaller colubrids like hog noses. However, I'm sure that as this company gets more established, they're going to come out with other trays that can handle smaller colubrid eggs like hog noses, for instance. But for right now, this is a really cool design. I want to thank Easy Hatch for sending this to me. I use this with my ball pythons. I also use it with my bull snakes. The reason why I really like this is because not only is it sturdy, but it's flexible and you can see it's high enough to keep the eggs off that moist substrate, which will prevent problems like molding or oversaturation if you have your substrate too wet. But again, it's tall enough to keep those eggs off of that moist substrate. And again, I love these egg-shaped compartments and they each have little slits so that that humidity can come through this, but it, it doesn't give you the problems that you would have if you put the eggs directly on the substrate like vermiculite, for instance. And again, I use this for my bull snakes because bull snake eggs and other colubrid eggs they are so susceptible to mold and to other issues that come from over humidity if you put those eggs directly on that wet substrate. So this product is from Easy Hatch. It is a really awesome product. And Easy Hatch, if you can get on making a tray for smaller colubrid eggs, that would be awesome. So as with all of the products that I'm gonna feature in this video, I will have all their links in the description below. Go check out Easy Hatch. Um, these are really cool products and I'm going to be ordering many more of these into the future. Alright, product number two on our tour of the most cool and innovative new reptile products is this guy. This comes from my friend Edgar at GeckoGen who developed this product and not only is GeckoGen one of the world's premier gecko breeders but he also creates and sells these really awesome innovative products. So. On the back, you have these two suction cups here, and that sticks right to the edge of your Zilla front opening cage. But look at this, it's hollow inside, and your geckos can go in there and retreat. And then he's got this silk foliage on the end here, which really adds to a really aesthetic look to this. And this is made out of like a resin that is sturdy, and the geckos can climb all over this, they can climb in it. My geckos absolutely love this product, and I just stick it right on the side of my Zilla front opening enclosure that I keep my crested geckos in, and they are all over this. They absolutely love this product. So it's a very lifelike product. It's a very durable product. And Edgar at GeckoGen, he sells these for about 25, 30 bucks, but I'm gonna put his link in the description below so that you guys can order one of these for your geckos as well. The coolest thing about these is that, you know, if you don't have geckos, you can still order one of these because check this out. You can actually put your beer in it. And not only does it keep your beer nice and cool, but it also camouflages your beer so that your friends aren't going to take your beer. They can't see it. It's totally camouflaged. It is keeping your beer nice and cool. So if you don't have geckos and you drink beer, this is the product to have. And maybe you can even hide some other things in here. You know, 
get creative. So again, if you don't have geckos or lizards, still go to Gecko Gen's website and buy one of these awesome products and help out a really awesome company, Gecko Gen, who is really on the ball when it comes to developing really cool and innovative products for your geckos. I obviously bought one and I stick it right in with my crested geckos and they absolutely love it, especially if you are cohabitating crested geckos. Some people do that, some people don't. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of comments one way or another about it, but if you're going to cohab your crested geckos or gargoyle geckos or any other kind of geckos, you need to have a lot of furniture and a lot of places to hide within that enclosure, and this product from Gecko Gen really solves that problem. This is such an innovative thing, not only for your geckos, but yes, in fact, for your beer as well. But I'll tell you, Edgar at Gecko Gen has really outdone himself with a really cool and awesome and innovative new reptile product. All right, guys, so moving right along, here's the third product I want to introduce you guys to. So this is a product from Zilla. And as you know, we love Zilla. This is the Micro Habitat, and this was developed very specifically for the arachnid keepers out there, but it can also be used for smaller frogs, smaller toads, salamanders, any smaller vertebrate or invertebrate can be housed in these really incredible enclosures that they've developed here. So maybe six months ago when I was at the Zilla lab and I filmed that video with the really awesome earless monitors that are my monitors, still my monitors, I'm just keeping them at Zilla. But Ryan McVeigh showed me this product before it came out on the market and I really wanted to film it in that video but that video was coming out before these hit the store shelves and I wasn't able to share with you guys this really cool product at that time. Well now these are available all over the country in the big box stores and in the smaller pet shops which we should be all supporting. So again these are now commercially available all over the country so as soon as you're finished watching this video you can run out and you can purchase one of these really awesome micro habitats. This really is one of the coolest products that Zilla has ever come out with, and Zilla comes out with the most amazing products in the entire reptile hobby. So these come out in a couple of sizes. This one is 14 inches by 8 inches by 6 inches. This is the bigger one, and this is the horizontal uh, micro habitat. It also comes out with the same size but in vertical. And they've also come out with a vertical setup for the smaller one, which is four inches by four inches by eight inches. And they've also come out with a horizontal one. So the horizontal one would be better for, say, tarantulas or scorpions. The vertical one would be better for stick insects, praying mantises, things like that. All right, so these are really easy to put together. You just take them out of the box. So each piece is individually wrapped. So you've got the bottom, You've got the rubber band pieces that hold it all together. You've got the instructions. And you've got each little individual piece. That piece, that piece, that piece, and these two pieces. So each one comes with this film and you just simply take the film off thusly and then be sure to take it off of both sides and then you have a crystal clear piece of acrylic here. All right, so once you have that protective film stripped off of all of your clear pieces, then it's just a matter of simply putting it together and these things are so easy to put together. Those just pop right into place. And then you just snap the top on and then you take the rubber bands that come with it and you just pop those right on there and that holds it all into place. It is that simple. Just take these and pop them right on. And then you just pop the front door in, hold it up like that. And then the locking mechanism just simply slides over until it locks into place and then you push it down into those two holes and that locks the front gate. And then you have a finished product. It was that easy to put this together. It took me all of a matter of three minutes to put this together. And it's sturdy and it's the perfect size for your arboreal insects or little frogs or whatever you can think of to put in one of these enclosures. This is a really, truly innovative design by Zilla. So the cool thing about this is that it's clear acrylic. It provides views on all sides. It has a solid base to retain that moisture so you can put any kind of substrate that you want down here. And I think that the coolest thing about this product is that these are stackable. So you can get seven or eight of these and stack them 
and put them all on one shelf. So you can see the top is indented and the bottom locks right into the top part. Now, as you well all know, I'm a little biased when it comes to Zilla, but I really think that this is such an innovative and awesome product that is really going to revolutionize the way that we keep small vertebrates and tarantulas and scorpions and anything else that you guys can think of to put in these really awesome stackable habitats. But what makes this product really awesome is the price. These smalls retail for about 20 bucks and the large, they retail for about $35. So think back to when you were a kid and you were in your backyard catching all sorts of bugs and insects and keeping them in whatever you kept them in, ice cream pails or whatever. Think about if you had this product when you were a kid and you went out there collecting all the really cool whatever you collected in your yard. So if you have kids, this would make an awesome birthday or holiday present for those kids. I would have loved to have one of these when I was a kid. So Zilla sent me a few of these and I'm going to use the bigger ones for my baby crested geckos and gargoyle geckos when they hatch. So I am going to be giving away this small micro habitat that I haven't opened yet to one of our Patreons. So if you want to win this small micro habitat, cruise on down to the description below and check out our Patreon and consider becoming a Patreon supporter of this channel and win cool prizes. So when it comes to innovation in caging design, here is the coup de gras of caging. I bet you didn't know I spoke Spanish. This bad boy right here in this box is an enclosure from Terra Orb. You guys may remember a video I shot a while ago at Tinley where I featured Terra Orb. Well, this is my own Terra Orb. And by mine, I mean mine. This is the rattle on edition of the Terra Orb. So I'm going to crack this box open and I'm going to build one of the most incredible and innovative designs in caging that has come on the market in a really long time. Alright, so I've got all the pieces out of the box and now it's just a matter of putting it all together. Alright, so this is the bottom tray. That's where we're going to start. Alright, there we go. All the risers are in. All right, and then you take this and you just simply thread it in like this in the little grooves that are made there. And now it's just a matter of putting the top on just like that. And then it's just a matter of screwing the top in. And now, this opens this way, and then you can service the entire enclosure, and then all you do is pull this shut, and it snaps shut just like that. And this piece just fits right in here, locks down, and that's the door stop, so that it can only open that way. How cool is that? And that's all there is to it. And now you have a easy to assemble, really cool, really innovative, sliding front opening Terra Orb. So this enclosure is gonna go to good use and I'm gonna show you who I'm gonna put in her. So this is Cat. This is a super dwarf reticulated python that I got, of course, from Garrett Hartle. And guys, I shot a video and I think it was the actual Tinley video that I featured Terra Orb in to begin with, but I featured getting this snake at Tinley and one of the reasons why I love this snake so much is that she's actually a parthenogenesis reticulated python. She had no father. The female just laid three eggs out of the blue. Those three eggs were obviously viable and three babies hatched out of those eggs and this was one of them. So I don't think I'm ever gonna breed her. She's just a pet of mine, but she is perfect size right now to fit in that giant Terra Orb enclosure. Not only that, but she's so beautiful that to put her in a rack system and never see her, man, that's one of the downsides of a rack system. But you know, in the Terra Orb, she is going to be a display animal and what an incredible enclosure 
to put this really awesome snake into. So anyway, guys, leave a comment below and let us know if you know of any really cool, innovative reptile products that have recently come on the market. And I just want to say a real quick thanks to my Patreon supporters and my sponsors. Thank you so much for continuing to support reptile education on this channel. And until the next reptile adventure, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on.